What's your name? Creep! I got 100 on my cash, got 200 in my trunk. Name in the grab bags for my trunk. Like a cracker on the top of my butt, like a lump. Hello, 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 everybody. Guys, we are back again. So we've done paper one, we've done paper yes. two. And you know, pause I am also again, you know, talking physical science this time yes. around as we are preparing towards your final exams. Now we are going to be delving into physical science. Sure. Hmm. Some of you are still unsubscribed. Bruh. Shares has been telling me that over 55% of you have not yet subscribed but have been enjoying the content. Please, why don't you go ahead and do the right thing? Click on that subscribe button. Let's go back to the lesson. Sure. Aish, my favorite. Aish. People don't know this is the physics, physics, uh, physical science is actually uh, my, my my favorite. Yeah. Right? Over and above. I love maths, uh, sure. but physics is my first love. <laughs> so I wanna start like this. Yes. I wanna yes. ask this question, and I always want to. Uh, for us to start out in this manner if you were writing physics <laughs> tomorrow let's say examiners change their minds they say rapture is coming <laughs> next week <laughs> uh, yes and now you have to prepare for physical science tomorrow right in paper one what would you what are the things that you do <laughs> we knew we were writing tomorrow. Sure. So, kinematics. That has a lot of marks. And that is where I would start. I would start with Newton's laws. I would start with um, the laws of motion and, and vertical projectors. So, all those three fall under kinematics. And that is where I would focus my, my energy on because that is... Um, almost a third of the paper, if not over. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So actually, the, yeah. The, so that would be that would be the first the first thing I would like to concentrate on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. So I I, I, I always want to throw that at you first. Sure. But now let's take it. Uh, let's take a step back. Abashana always start talking about multiple choice, <laughs> right? And I want us to firstly address the issue of multiple choice. Sure. Um, I want to start here. Firstly, I believe multiple choice, you either do it first or you do it last. Yes, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> because it's either one of two things, right? Um, either when you do it first, of course, it would be one of those things that you are really confident about. Yes. You know you can answer it, you can give those answers that... Uh, because you've practiced it, okay? Now, there are three ways, Mina, sure. that I believe in which you can get multiple choice right. Sure. Number one, you can get it right from memory, meaning I've seen this question before, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> so, by virtue of you seeing the question, uh, having seen the question before, you already know no. what the answer sure. is, right? Number two, there are calculation or thinking type questions that are calculation based sure right but usually it's in terms of variables so you need to know how to work with manip uh, manipulations um, there so for instance they will say acceleration when given a force of f is given as a and when the mass is m yes right now, if the mass doubles, yeah, you see, yes. then you need to know, okay, what will be the new acceleration? Sure. So you need to now manipulate that and see how is the new acceleration related to the old acceleration. Yes. You'll say half, a quarter A, uh, you know, two over three A and yes. whatever the options are, sure. right? So those are manipulation type questions. And then the third way in which you can get uh, multiple choice right is the following if you if if you know it's the kind of questions that are thinking questions but that are theory based you might not have seen the question before it's not a calculation question but it is a thinking type question 
So those are the three types of questions that you'll get on multiple choice. And I'd say to you, please don't wing it. You know, yeah. oh, don't <laughs> find a partner. Yeah. You know, people will say, okay, <laughs> in, 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 or uh, in my own Gazi language, yeah. piki 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 mabela, piki piki mabela. Mabela. You that way, right? <laughs> you have to do it in such a strategic way. So that means you need to practice answering multiple choice sure. questions. So what I've asked, what I've found in the past is that uh, learners tend to avoid multiple choice and feel like, you know what, I can win it. Let me tell you guys, if you're going to win it, you'll end up getting zero, zero. out of 20 or even two out of 20. <laughs> Let me tell you, Mbuso, uh, when I was in varsity, in fact, the first time I ever got a zero in my life, zero <laughs> for a test, it was a multiple choice question. Sure. Right? got a, a multiple choice test. I was at varsity, we're writing this multiple choice test and you know when the answer keeps, you keep selecting A <laughs> and then the next one is A, the next one is A and then you go to six questions and you've been answering A and then you think, ah, eh, no, 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 it can't be. <laughs> then you go and change your answers, right? And then eventually I changed my answers well, only to find what it Vele, those okay. A's were right. So what I'm trying to say to you guys is that please be intentional sure. about practicing multiple choice questions. You can get it off from memory, but also you can get it from practice. We've compiled a playlist on multiple choice. Please make sure that you go and check that out. Uh, go through them. Now, it would be nice for you before you actually watch the video, check which question paper I'm doing answer the questions on your own and then go into uh, the, the video so that you can check your answers and what it does is it will help you because i also explain why the other options are not the correct sure. options okay so that is important so please be intentional about uh, multiple choice now let's get into mechanics we are talking about mechanics yes. um, newton's laws we are talking about um, so of those uh, which one is your, which one is, is, is your, 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 the one that you love the most? I think um, the same, first and, and second, which ones I, I, I love those. Okay. Um, I think um, the, the answering is quite structured there. Uh, you choose direction, you, you make sure that if, especially with the ones, the string, so the ones with the string, the tension going to the other side is going to be positive. The tension going to the other side is going to be negative. Remembering that tension is also a force and force has direction. Mm -hmm. So those positive and negative yeah. just indicate direction and you also apply that in our calculation. Yeah. So that is that is what I, I, I love the most. Mm -hmm. The reason then for for my love for 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 Newton's first law was that the first time I heard about it, it fascinated me. Sure. And something, something so trivial, <laughs> something so trivial. Yeah. Uh, it's so, so it fascinated okay. me. So I, I grew a love. Yeah, I grew a love for, for it. For yes. it. Okay. So I think here's my best advice that I give. Right. Sure. For that, always choose the direction of motion as your positive direction. Now yes. you're talking about. The questions were in, we've there's got strings, pulley, yes. there's a pulley in yes. between. Now, let's say we've got one object sitting on the table and the other one just suspended hanging, right? Now, whether the option, the, the, the object is moving, let's say the one on the table is moving to the left and obviously it would be pulling mm -hmm. the, the other one, right? Sure. Yeah, so the other one would be going up. So that means for the one that is sitting on the table, left is positive. positive. Sure. Right, the one that has been pulled up upwards yeah. is positive. Sure. Right, I always consider that to be the first thing that you do, because what it does is then it will help you to choose the you know the correct direction, and it will help you in terms of uh, uh, you know uh, your acceleration being positive. Okay, depending on what's happening in that uh, question. Right now, the second thing that I really want you guys to pay attention to is to draw a free body diagram. What you sometimes do is when you draw the free body diagram, firstly, make sure that you draw a big dot, okay? 
Uh, remember that dot at the center shows you the center of gravity of that object. So when you've got more than one force, let's say in, the, in, in, in a particular direction, let's say tension going in the, uh, to the right. the right, let's say friction also going to the right. Let's say, uh, let's maintain this object is moving to my left, maybe your right, okay? So let, let's think about it. So you've got two forces. Sometimes you even have uh, uh, gravity, you know, uh, uh, the par parallel uh, component of gravity yes. that's on an inclined plane. So really separate those forces. What I've seen some of you guys do is that they will draw one, uh, you know, <laughs> one, one, one uh, vector diagram, one arrow, right? Yes. And then they put several heads on the oh. same line. Okay, and say there's tension, there's yeah, friction, friction, and okay. there's FG parallel. Yes. Please don't do that. You separate them. And secondly, label in full. Yes. If you're going to use acronyms, for instance, N for normal force, then give the description of that key at the you know at the bottom, right? So Sorry. N is normal force. Yes. If you say FK, that's frictional, kinetic friction, right? So please make sure that you label your diagram fully. All right? Yes. Now, uh, our students don't know, in physics, when you use F net is equal to MA, that's already a mark, guys. Mark. Please, before you can try to give us the equation of all the forces, write down Newton's second law. F net is equal to MA. Yes. It's as simple as that you've gotten your one mark already, right? Now, um, if there are two bodies, right? Yes. So, so we can Five take kg uh -huh, and, three kg. and three kg, sure. right? So you're going to take the sum of forces for the one, okay? Now, please remember, guys, when you've got an object with a force that is acting at an angle, you need to resolve that force into its horizontal and its vertical yes. dimensions. And remembering that the vertical dimension will also affect the normal force, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Because if you've got a vertical dimension that way, there's normal force and there's the gravitational force, then it means that the normal force will be a difference between gravity mm -hmm. as well as the, that vertical dimension. Sure. So that is very important. Um, otherwise, you take an equation for uh, object A, you take an equation for object B, taking the sum of all the forces, you add them up together. Uh, some of you prefer getting the subject of the formula and then substituting. And voila, you've got your acceleration, you've got your tension, or sometimes you've got your force, whatever the case may be. Right? Uh, that's, that's on Newton's, that's on Newton's like, laws, right? Yeah. yeah. And guys, it, it is straightforward. Apply. Make sure that you get that right. Now, Vertical projectile motion. Yes. Let's go into that. Yes. Let's go into that.